Bienvenidos amigos and welcome back to another episode of More Life Diaries and today we are apartment hunting in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We're going to take you on the ups and downs of apartment hunting. Let's see what's out there. So first things first, guys, why are we looking for a new apartment? So number one is we're looking for a more affordable option. As you guys have been watching us, you know that we moved here to Puerto Vallarta in the high season. Um, there wasn't a lot of options left. Things, the prices go up at that time. And we didn't know idea. We were coming from Toronto. We were used to really expensive price tags on rentals so we thought we were getting a deal but we've seen that there are more cheaper options and we wanted to explore those uh, the second reason is that we were looking for a more comfortable living space we wanted something a little bit more cozy we now know the value of air conditioning in every room after spending a summer here and um, yeah we just wanted something a little bit more functional where we'd have a proper working space and the last thing would be just to have a different experience overall. I think we came here to experience different things and for us to stay in one place for basically more than a year would kind of take away from that adventurous side. We want to be able to live in different types of neighborhood around the city and possibly even different towns eventually just to really figure out where we want to be in the long term and unfortunately this place is not that but we do love our Cinco de Diciembre neighborhood but unfortunately things are a little bit out of our price range or what we'd want to be paying so we ventured out of Cinco a little bit to try to find the perfect neighborhood for us. So what tools are we using for apartment hunting here in Puerto Vallarta? Um, the main one we've been using is Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups. So there are plenty of groups here um, that you can join that are by neighborhood, by price range, um, by stay. So if it's a short term versus long term rental. Um, so we were looking on those as well as just Marketplace because some people don't post them in the group. So it's good to do both. Mm -hmm. And also we're very visual and Facebook Marketplace gives you the opportunity to kind of see more pictures, also see the profile of the person that's posting it mm -hmm. so it's a little bit more transparent in that aspect and a little bit safer i'd say but other great options are walking the streets and also just telling people you're looking for a new place and specifically what you're looking for however um, you kind of just have to be lucky to find a place that actually fits your requirements because mm -hmm. walking in the streets you see a serenta sign but you don't see what it looks like inside. Is it a two bedroom, three bedroom, one bathroom? You have no idea. So it is a little bit more difficult. So I would suggest choosing those options. If you're kind of just dipping your toes into looking at what's out there. In our case, uh, we kind of have a timeline to work with. So we decided to go to Facebook Marketplace. There's another website called Mano a Mano where you are able to go into a, a real estate section and see uh, what is out there in terms of rentals like Craigslist like Craigslist wasn't very helpful and there wasn't much on there unfortunately so Facebook marketplace is the place to go in our opinion yes. okay guys the fun part what are we looking for in our new apartment and we're going to start this off with safety being the first main criteria yeah, we are a family, we have kids, we obviously want it to be safe. So we're looking for a neighborhood where we feel, not that there's a reputation for safe or unsafe, but just where we feel comfortable. Um, and another thing is, you know, we have little kids, we kind of, we live on a busy street here and we want them to be able to go outside and play or without us having like a heart attack or having to hold on their hand. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want somewhere where there's a little bit less traffic and they could, you know, play outside without heavy stress. So obviously safety first. The next on the list is budget. So we were working this time with a stricter budget than when we first rented this place. So we're looking at anything 17,000 pesos and under and emphasis on the under if it was 17 we're like it has to blow our minds so there were some great places for 17,000 and under so we were very pleased with that the next one is size and layout so we were looking for a minimum of two bedrooms 
one for us, one for the kids, if it was three, even better. Um, and layout that just uh, gives a bit more privacy. Um, I think something where we could, you know, close the kid's door. There's no light going in there for we're up working later or something like that. Yeah, also just uh, something that wasn't like tight corners, which we saw a lot, a lot of. We want like a very livable um, space, a living room where the kids can kind of play um, and we can cook and watch them. And uh, yeah, just some nice size bedrooms as well, because the kids do play in there quite often. And of course, just to be a little bit more comfortable. The next one is location. So as part of the location, um, of course, we had the community. Every um, barrio here is very different one from the other. So I think that was important for us to kind of explore those neighborhoods, see what's out there. Um, which neighborhood kind of fits with the stuff we like to do. Um, walkability being one of them, um, little tiendas, little taquerias being another. And the vicinity to the stuff that we've already set up in our life. For example, our kids are going to school slash daycare and we didn't want to move somewhere where we would have to either do a huge commute or restart them somewhere else. Like if, if we're talking, we're going to move to a different town, obviously mm -hmm. we would start them in a new school, but we didn't want to just move them so far that we'd have to start them again in a new space. So we wanted to be closer or the same distance to the school and to the other extracurricular activities that they've started taking. Yeah, and our main criteria or one of them when we first uh, moved here was to be in close proximity to the beach, which is still important to us, but we are willing this time around to uh, sacrifice a little bit of distance for uh, a lower rental price. Mm -hmm. So utilities and service, that's the next one. Um, obviously we had that budget, as we mentioned, of 17,000. The more services, servicios or utilities that are included in that, the better. Mm -hmm. Also, we wanted it to have, we prefer for it to have a washer and dryer in unit or just a washer at least. Um, again, with kids, like if it was just us, I would be like, whatever, we can take it to the lavanderia, but mm -hmm. You know, there's more laundry unexpectedly sometimes with little kids. Yeah, uh, we've also talked about our, or we've warned about, you know, checking for electricity bills and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that was something that we asked every time we visited a place. You know, what is the general cost for electricity here? What is your estimate including using mm -hmm. AC and how many they, did they have in, in the unit? Um, so that was a big factor. And another big factor to check if you are apartment hunting is water pressure. Oh, yeah. Some neighborhoods have little to no water pressure. So that's definitely something that we were checking every apartment we we're going to, especially in the shower. There was some really disappointing ones, as we'll, <laughs> we'll mention uh, coming up. But water pressure being a big one and AC was a, an important factor for us, at least in the bedrooms. It, the kids have it here in theirs. We don't have it in ours. And honestly, it does get really hot. I'm very sweaty and it's just not an overall good sleeping situation for either of us. <laughs> so AC in the in both bedrooms, um, unless there's like a really amazing breeze coming through the apartment, mm -hmm. which is very rare. And also just an apartment that looks like you'll be low maintenance. Every now and then starts <laughs> stuff stops working mm -hmm. or things fall apart. So just an overall like semi renovated would be fine, but just an apartment that looks like, you know, the walls aren't going to collapse, Yeah, um, which does happen. And also too, like sometimes you would see, you know, beautiful photos on Facebook of a pool or mm -hmm. the grounds or whatever, and you go there and you're like, uh, what's up with your pool? Like, yeah. is, it like, <laughs> is, it a, is it always is it a, like this? Is it a There's murder a scene? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the last thing is like little construction around the apartments. So obviously Puerto Vallarta, it's a booming city. Construction is everywhere. And um, that's to be expected if you are coming to stay here that there is going to be construction close proximity, which is fine, but not right next door where it feels like there's construction inside the unit. So that's something that we were looking, um, we looking kept an eye for, out yeah. for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, next one is lease terms. Obviously, we were looking for something long term, um, either six months to 12 months. Um, a lot of places here prefer 12 months. They'll give you a cheaper rate if you do 12 months. But honestly, I think one lesson I learned from coming here is that I wish we would have just found somewhere for six months mm -hmm. initially, because then that way it would have been able, we would have been able to kind of gauge whether, you know, the neighborhood, because we came here again, you don't know anything when you first arrive. Yeah. So just to test it out, is this 
a place you want to continue on for. Um, yeah, that's. And you learn a lot uh, within six months. Like you're very clear on if you like your apartment or not and which neighborhood uh, you're most attracted to. Mm -hmm. um, so that six month, even if you are paying slightly more, it might save you more money in the long term because then you can find something more affordable, especially if that uh, if you're renting in high season and that takes you into low, low season. season. Yeah, might be worth it. Uh, the last thing is parking and transportation. So we have our cars. So obviously parking, whether it's street parking or, you know, a specified parking lot, underground parking um, was desired. Um, so street parking is generally what's available. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're concerned about street parking, if you have like a nicer, higher end car, um, I think break-ins are fairly rare here in terms of cars. Mm -hmm. um, in Toronto, they were rampant. So every <laughs> every car on the street was getting broken into at night. And yeah, it just doesn't seem to be as much of an issue here. We've been parked on the street um, for almost a year now. We have never had any sort of issue. What is to be expected is people chilling outside of your car <laughs> with their arm on the hood or their beer on the hood. Uh, so don't be alarmed. They're not trying to break in. That's just, just the vibe here. You left it out there. They're leaning on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So guys, this episode almost didn't even come about because we had found the perfect place early on in our search before we even started filming places. Yeah, so I think it was the first place we looked at um, in this sort of round of apartment hunting. We walked in, it was gorgeous. It had the amazing breeze that we mentioned and air conditioning. And outdoor space. And outdoor space. And it was really nicely decorated, very comfortable. The kids were there and they loved it. A great neighborhood, a park next door. I mean, close to the market, it had everything. And it was 13,000 pesos a month. Yeah, which is like the best within our criteria is like the best price yeah. including some servicios so yeah. i mean it was like is this too good to be true and the reality was yeah it was too good to be <laughs> true we you know talked to the landlord we were in communication i put down the deposit and then he unfortunately came back and said that the tenants who were there had decided to extend their stay until january so if we wanted to have the place we would have to wait until january um, we decided not to do that because if he changed his mind again, we'd mm -hmm. be stuck trying to find a place in January, which is the peak of high season, which means it's the lowest amount of inventory on apartments. And also we figured worst case scenario, if we don't find something um, before like our deadline, which was October 1st, at least we have this option available in January. So we figured like it'll, it will probably still be available. Yeah. Um, come closer to that date. So we had to start the search again. All over again. All over again. And then that's where the idea for the episode kind of came about because that was definitely a big down for us. And we're like, let's just do an up and downs video for uh, apartment hunting in PV. All right, so moving on to a one non-negotiable. So there are a few non-negotiable, but just kind of a one that in every apartment we were looking for and even though it may not be like the worst thing if we didn't have it it was definitely like the apartment would be not top of our list if there wasn't so for me and i don't care if i sound spoiled for this i <laughs> wanted either my own bathroom because i'm tired of sharing it with these boys but most importantly i wanted the washroom to be like recently renovated modern style a little bit spacious and some storage space which is exactly the opposite of what we have now i actually thought the washroom was it is really cute because it's very traditional but it's it's really small and tight and hard to you know like when you have to help the kids it's hard mm -hmm. there's no storage space for you know like the beauty routine and all that kind of stuff and i just wanted a little space of the window perhaps better lighting a few things, I guess. No, I think like just something that is uh, a little bit more neat mm -hmm. because right now, like we have, uh, you know, bathroom products everywhere in the apartment because everything is kind of exposed. There's nowhere to put our towels. There's nowhere to put, you know, our toothbrushes. And uh, yeah, I think we like having all of that kind of tucked away, yeah. uh, which we don't have now. 
And I think for me was outdoor space. So either like a, bal a decent sized balcony that we can actually have a little table and a couple of chairs on there because we both love working outside and it's kind of impossible here. Although we have the best outdoor space, it just gets hot. We don't have outdoor um, patio furniture, so we don't use it as much. But um, yeah, just overall a little outdoor space, a little nook for us to kind of get away. Okay, guys, so let's jump into our apartment hunting journey. So we're going to show you some clips of our tours, apartment tours, and we're going to like talk you through what we were thinking, what we saw in each of the apartments um, and just give you our thoughts throughout. We'll share some specs and the prices. Let's go. Starting with Colonia Aralias. So this apartment here was really surprising because it had three bathrooms. So two bedrooms, laundry, no services, including at 15,000 pesos per month. Yeah, a nice big desk. Um, some of the furniture, it looked nice, but it didn't look very comfortable to sit on. But two, you know, the, the bedrooms were a little bit smaller than what we wanted. I think we want a little bit more room to put like the kids tables and have them be able to spread out as much as they can in the bedroom. So those were a little bit tight, but the three bathrooms were insane to yeah. us. I'll just say. And yeah, as we saw quickly in the living room, they had actual patio furniture inside the living room. So that's kind of a concern for us because it's not like an actual couch that would be comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, like a nice little apartment, nice kitchen. And that price is really good at 15,000. Yeah, for three washrooms. All right, so our second one in the same neighborhood is 14,000 pesos, two bedrooms, one bathroom, laundry, and only internet included. Um, this was a nice one. It had a really good light, like natural light, an oven, which is not something you see all the time. Um, we kind of felt we'd have to buy a lot of, you know, new curtains, new sheets, new all that kind of stuff. Um, Never trust a wooden <laughs> bed frame with a backboard. Like, you know that it won't be that comfortable. Yeah. And um, I think, too, it's the same thing as the last apartment. Um, a bit tight. The rooms were a bit tight. Like, even if we wanted to, you know, get a bigger bed for us or something, it wouldn't really mm -hmm. be possible. Um, but it was it was a nice option. Again, like, I love the natural light, a little bit of outdoor space in a really nice neighborhood. Nice views, nice trees outside. And Colonia Aralias is close to a lot of stuff, the shopping malls, Costco, parks, restaurants, and everything like that. It's a good neighborhood. So next we have Colonia Santa Maria. Um, this was still kind of partially under renovation construction, but it was probably the biggest unit we we saw. Um, so as you can see, the beds are out in the living room. That wouldn't be permanent. And we saw two units in this building. This is a smaller one with two bedrooms and two bathrooms. 14,000 pesos. Um, again, it's quite spacious. And they were building a third bedroom in that unit. Uh, one of the main issues is it is on a main road as well. So um, that noise would be an issue and also just overall like dust from the traffic, mm -hmm. but a really big open space. And this is the second unit, which was 14,000 pesos, two bedroom, two bathroom and this one we actually kind of fell in love with yeah I, I could see the potential here i was kind of like this was the one to beat for me for a long time look at this uh sunroom that it had the view was uh, amazing the view was amazing mm -hmm. and so this unit is sort of on the back of the building so you wouldn't have had to hear the the noise from the street or get that dust like this is the window that you would have just looking out at the mountains um, again, that spacious living room, big kitchen, and then going into the bedrooms, uh, they were a decent size as well. So those are some nice big king size beds. And um, yeah, overall, we were strongly considering this unit. The only drawback was that um, there was a lot of construction going on. So we weren't sure, you know, if the construction would be done. By the time we move in there, of course, they say that it will be, but yeah. things are delayed like always with construction. So that was the only real drawback for this unit. But for 14,000 pesos per month, I mean, a little noise don't hurt. Yeah. And again, there was two bathrooms, one en suite. One of them was an en suite um, and then they were newly renovated as well. Next one is also in Santa Maria. So beautiful neighborhood that we absolutely love. 15,000 pesos, 
two bedrooms, one bathroom, internet included. This was right by the Tiangis on Saturdays. And we liked this. It was a nice little condo. It's on the sixth floor. So if you, you know, get fit living here for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the rooms are a little bit smaller than we wanted. Um, I think the overall apartment was a little bit, a little smaller. bit smaller. But it, it was, was really nicely laid out yeah. and new. Everything was new. Um, kitchen, all new. Furniture, new. Um, it was very comfortable for sure. Very comfortable. We were looking for a little bit more uh, space, whereas this was kind of like those newly-ish built condos where everything is a little bit tighter um, and tighter space. But this place for 15000 was absolutely beautiful and very well located. There were two rooftop patios um, that you can just go chill and look at that view. Like yeah, we I'm fall kidding. in love with views <laughs> quite often. Uh, so this one again is Colonia Santa Maria. Um, this one is on the ground floor and for 15000 per month. Um, we really like this one too. It was a good size. The furniture was really nice. Everything was comfy, clean. Our only, our only concern with ground floor is one, safety is uh, definitely more of a concern for break-ins, but also it always feels a little bit like a basement apartment. So there's not as much natural light that comes in, it seems like. Um, like this apartment had a little bit, but yeah, you, we still got that feeling once we were in there. Yeah, a little bit shut in, but the furniture here was really nice. I love that this room had two twin beds for the kids. Um, yeah, clean, clean bathroom. renovated bathroom yeah. for me. And a nice living room area. The couch was really comfortable too. There was a little outdoor space where we could put, you know, the kids water table. Um, but uh, yeah, and there was a nice park also right across, right across the, the street, street, which we love. And back again to Colonia Santa Maria. We really like this neighborhood. So this is also near the Tianguis on Saturday. As you can see, it had a pool. Um, so they were cleaning it that day. Yeah, the pool uh, was a little bit suspect because it looked like a, the scene of a scene of a crime. Of a crime but <laughs> they assured us that it, it does get clean and it is swimmable. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a basement apartment vibe to it. Um, Another ground floor like. in yeah. the back. Um, what's interesting about this unit is that, of course, there's a pool, but there's also underground parking available, which was the only one we saw. Um, internet gas included. This right here is where, where the Tiangis is on Saturday. So you'd be literally on Saturday kind of just in the mix of things, mm -hmm. which we didn't mind for one day a week, but it would be loud, um, on that day. loud and hard to get privacy in your unit. And hard to get well. out of the... The area parking, in yeah. general, yeah. But overall, a nice little apartment. This one was like fairly sized and we got a little surprise. Yeah. <laughs> monster. <laughs> little much, monster. <laughs> Next one is in Agua Azul, which we absolutely love this neighborhood. So 14,000 pesos per month, two bedroom, two bathroom, um, everything including. But we're going to call this the catfish unit. Can't catfish you? of the month. So this unit, when we saw it on Facebook, was completely different. It was this was not what we it saw. It was on next Facebook. door. The yeah. unit you're next door. And so I don't know why they didn't put pictures of this one. The unit next door was already inhabited and had been taken for a long time and wasn't. They weren't planning on moving. So I'm public not sure. bathroom vibes. Yeah, public bathroom vibes. Um, the furniture wasn't great. And yeah, overall, like we walked around the neighborhood before visiting this. We were, we fell in love. We went for a little hike, waiting, and we we're like. I don't mind this neighborhood at all. It's right where the mountain is. And we we're like, this might be the one. And then they catfished us and showed us next door, which and, we weren't impressed with. And it's very different, like completely yeah. different looking. Oh, so this one, Colonia El Caloso. This was a beautiful unit, 16,000. Uh, the only one we saw in the this area, area is right along Rio Quale. the Rio Quales. And yeah, this was kind of like, we love the unit, but the neighborhood is a little bit challenging to get in and out of um if like, you're driving if you're, if you're driving, walking it's yeah. really close to rio quale and central um so very accessible but those windows and the view yeah, is what we fell in love with like you can't get more natural light and more Green. greenery come into the unit with the wooden accents it's like so nice the bedrooms were both nice and big too you go down a few stairs and they both have outdoor space. Yeah, and yeah, spacious bedrooms, spacious um, like living room, kitchen area, uh, laundry in unit. Um, it was really, really nice. This one. Water, water pressure, pressure. non-existent. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys. So these were all of the apartments that did not make the list. And let's talk about the ups and downs of our journey apartment hunting here in PV. Responsiveness. So for the most part, you contact someone on Facebook Marketplace. They're pretty responsive. You then have to switch the convo to WhatsApp. Um, but it was pretty easy. This is sort of like a contrast to what we would have done in Toronto where we would have had an agent taking care of all of this work for us. We were doing it ourselves. So contacting the I don't know, agent for the apartment or the owner and scheduling a time to visit and all of that. Um, so very, yeah, no issues at all with responsiveness. Everyone, as soon as you message them on Facebook Marketplace would hit you back with a, uh, a message like within you know a couple of hours at most easy to navigate and find places. Um, so for the most part, um, it's quite easy to get around PV. If you don't have a car, if you're walking, if you're taking public transportation, I don't see it being an issue visiting some of these places. Yes, it will take you longer if you're not driving there. Or well, maybe like try and do it neighborhood by neighborhood. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. Um, easy to park, everything's free, you don't have to pay for parking, there's street parking everywhere, so that was super easy. The people renting are very accommodating in terms of hours, if you're like, can I visit today or tomorrow, like they, you know, that was never an issue, it was very easy to find hours that worked for everyone. And not pushy, so everyone is nice, very respectful, no one is pushy, like, aggressively trying yeah, like to you get need you to, to tell us unit. today or yeah. it's gonna go like every it was single just... time we uh, made it clear we have a couple more to visit they were more than respectful like yeah let us know so the negatives or the challenges um again like i mentioned we were our own agents so it was a bit time consuming to spend searching for places um yeah communicating with people to make all those plans while they were communicative and it was pretty easy it was just very time consuming and also um a lot of people once you do message them they want you to message them on whatsapp and then they want to call you so there is a little bit of a communication barrier if you don't speak like perfect spanish but i find that for us anyways we just rather message rather than like someone uh, call you because then a lot of information gets lost in translation so we have but it written and then we can discuss with each other like yeah, hey how we, is this date or time we don't have it written which is like mm -hmm. the most important part so be ready to take some phone calls <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one is catfishing yeah that one we were that was a second heartbreak after the first beautiful apartment one that we got they reneged on um we and fell first, in love with that neighborhood. The first one wasn't a catfish no. by any means. Like it they, was just a heartbreak. It's a heartbreak. But the second last apartment we showed you, aka the catfish, <laughs> was a big disappointment. Yeah, we were very excited after going around that neighborhood. We're like, oh my god, this is you know perfect location, great vibes, everything was great. And then to see, like we walked in the apartment, we're like, this is not what we saw at all. Very very different. I mean, they are next to each other. You would think that they would look more the same, but. No. And it's not the only apartment that there is that, that we got catfished on. Uh, often here, people will use the pictures of the apartment from five years ago. Um, so one, they're outdated pictures. Two, um, they're typically not good pictures. So don't expect any like real estate, very nice pictures. Everything's a little bit blurry off so random pictures of just you know like a, an artwork yeah like, okay i don't care about that artwork so um yeah it's just a matter of even if it looks decent just going to visit it because things in person for good and bad could look very different than they do in pictures yeah actually one of them the santa maria that was under construction like we went there with the lowest expectations because the photos were terrible it was under it was under construction the photos but you couldn't really tell that like there wasn't materials there so you just thought it was you know very plain and empty they didn't show you know like the sunroom and that kind of thing so sometimes you go and it's like you're catfished in a good way and um the next one is the facebook location so where the apartment looks like it is pinned on facebook is not the actual location this one drove me crazy yeah. because so many times i was like wow look at this apartment in can you cinco. believe it in cinco <laughs> and like this price and then you message and you find out that it's all the way in extapa which is like yeah. inland from the airport um i think now we kind of know the look of those extapa uh units yeah that they're like, all very renovated like they the are places nice. in extapa look beautiful and it is 
uh, an area that they are trying to build and draw a little bit more attention to but it's not an area at all we would consider it is a little bit too far there is some traffic coming in in and out of there um, again a beautiful area and i get why they're pinning them downtown because otherwise people aren't looking, looking at Ixtaba. but again it's just annoying to find like the beautiful place you're wasting time looking at it getting excited yeah. amazing prices by the way yeah amazing. and it's all the way out of where you want to be living yeah. so if you want to live near the airport definitely look at Ixtaba. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that just added, you know, confusion and time to things as well. There are several of the same addresses in Puerto Vallarta. You have to enter the Colonia. Yeah, this is 100 percent like our, our fault. fault. But we went we wanted to go visit a place oh, and yeah. we ended up in like, who knows, uh, there yeah. was a cow there. So yeah, like <laughs> to in the mountains time. somewhere, there's a cow. There was, was a nothing but a drive. beautiful cow and a beautiful yeah. drive. And um, finally, like no show or cancellations. It did happen more than a few times where we were at the unit or on our way. And the person was like, actually, like uh, s someone rented it or just they didn't show up. Or they canceled. Like literally, we confirmed it in our apartment. Yes, we're coming in 15 minutes. And then we would get there, be waiting outside. And they're like, yeah, sorry, we can't show it to you anymore for no real reason. Yeah, and um, and, and and one of them, like we were supposed to be meeting at the time that we were there and we got a phone call and then they want more information. Like, hey, when are you guys looking to move in? This and that. Well, first it was, no, and, you can't see it today. Yeah. Then they called back and were like, well, when do you want to move in? And then they were like, I don't think we can wait that long. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just like, like a lot of wasted time. Stuff they should have been asking before agreeing to meet with us. Yeah. As you can see, we saw a lot of places. Um, we were kind of starting to lose hope. A lot of the places had the si similar sort of look, similar uh, things that we liked and didn't like about them. And none of them were giving us that feeling of like, this is the one like we got in that first apartment and, that we fell in love with. And we saw um, significantly more apartments that we showed you guys today. So probably two to three times more, I'd say. Yeah, we just um, we saw a lot of apartments but it wasn't until we had almost lost hope <laughs> and we had two apartments lined up one in versailles and one in agua azul we got the feels yeah. we saw an affordable place in versailles walking distance to school the library and we fell in love we both looked at each other and knew that this was the apartment on the drive home started planning how we were going to decorate that day we had a second apartment booked in Agua Azul, which is the neighborhood we got catfished, but we absolutely loved the neighborhood. <laughs> 